Good morning. Finishing up at the launch. I'm actually out here um, spot locked just off of the ramp. Here is a little bit of where I'm at. So, nice little marina. Anyway, weather is actually really nice. There's a slight breeze. Um, time right now is uh, 5.44 in the morning and uh, water temperature is just a hair above 80 degrees. I'm sure by lunchtime that will definitely change. But um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, and if you really do like my content, please you know, smash that like and uh, subscribe. I really would like to uh, give everybody what they're wanting. So I've taken a lot of comments, uh, suggestions from their comments, and I've incorporated some of it. But um, anyway, I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right, uh, we'll see if I can get all this on screen here for everybody, but I'm cast netting for some shad. So there's that right there. Let me see what I can do. Okay, hopefully I was able to get some out of that ball. The ball moved a little bit to the side. So let's reel this thing and take a look. <sighs> Looks like it's a pretty decent one. See if I can shake some of it down. All right. I've ordered a larger basket because when I'm throwing these tape nets and I want the shad to kind of relax a little bit and get some of the scales off them, um, uh, I need to get a little bit of a bigger one. This is a 16 liter. I've ordered a 41. It's just going to be able to accommodate me to, instead of picking up some of these shad that <laughs> are flying outside of this little bucket. But what you do is, might be kind of hard to see, but you can see the scales. These guys like to lose their scales and, and poop and all that kind of stuff. You try to get rid of some of that before you put it up into the bait tape. Actually, I've got over a hundred, so I'm definitely not going to get more than that because it is just me doing solo today. And uh, some of the scales you still have to get off or get out of the um, filter, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. I've got definitely over a hundred of them in there. All right. Not 
sure what this is. Can't tell if it's a catfish or if it's a hybrid. It's got a pretty, pretty good tug to it. Saw a little flash. Oh, looks like it's a nice size hybrid. Okay. Twenty-two and a half. Okay. Uh oh. Run, Bubba. Run. Feels pretty good size, so it's trying not to tighten it up all the way for drag. Got to let you run a little. All right, all right. I think I might have seen it splash. It looks like it might have been a blue cat. And it's a pretty good sized blue cat. Oh yeah. Uh, no, maybe a flathead. Actually, it looks like it might be about a 10 pound. got a big fish going solo fishing without a net man is a little bit of a struggle okay let's see here pretty good size Okay, what you got here? What we got? What we got? Come on, talk to me. I'm not sure. It's not doing the bunny hopping. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if this is a hybrid or a catfish. giving off signals of both. Come on, buddy. They definitely don't get happy the closer they get to the boat. Okay, not a bad, not a bad size. Looks like it's probably about five or six pounds. So. Okay, 